Hi right, guys, how you doing? All right, I've got this um, HBI Wheelie King here. I've had it for a while now, but I've not really used it for ages. Let me show you about it. All right, so it's a Wheelie King and I've modified it a little bit, but it does need a bit of TLC. So I've made it brushless. It's a HBI ESC that come out of a um, Savage Flux SS, I think. Extra small one. LRP brushless motor. God knows what KB it is. Running it on free sale at the moment. I've put some sway bars on it. Bit of a homemade bodge that is. You can see that there. Traxxas, I think they're off of a T-Max prop shafts. The standard ones used to just break all the time. Four wheel steer. If you look round, where, ah, here. Yeah. You can see I've put a servo up up top here for the rear steer. Oh, uh, what else have we done? Made it longer wheelbase. These are off of a Crawler King. So we've done a long wheelbase conversion using a Spectrum DX6i. And the reason for that is that we can do the. Let's put that there. We can see it all. We can do the. If you know you guys that used to stick radios. We've got the steering on the normal side, the front steer, that servo's definitely had it, and then we've got the rear steer. Yeah, it's not very really powerful, we're going to have to play with that a little bit. I think maybe that servo saver might be giving away a bit. So we've got the rear steer on a separate switch, and then I glued this stick into position so you can't move it up and down, and then the throttle's where it would normally be. So we can do our front and rear steer independent. So you can put them both together like that to do normal steering. And then you can crab crawl it as well. That's hard to do it with one hand. So you might see all this glue gun stuff on here. And on my other video, I, I said about beefing parts up. Well, when I first got this thing, I used to snap these knuckles off all the bloody time. This thing wants to focus. I used to break them knuckles off all the time. It's like literally one bad landing, snap. So I've got some new ones, covered them with hot glue, not had any troubles yet. You know, since I've done the hot glue bodge, not one snapped hub. And then on the diff here, it used to blow quite a lot of ring and pinions. Because I think the, the flexor used to be in this case. So I've done the same here, I just caked it up with some hot glue. And touch wood, I've not done a diff since. And I've also bolted straight through here. As you try and keep that ring and pinion sort of better meshed. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Other than that, it's pretty much stock. I've just been playing with different pinions. Because it was getting really hot, so I've geared it down a little bit. And it's still probably too fast for what it is. So, alright, let's give it a little blast. And then we'll do some upgrades. Oh, that servo doesn't sound too good. I'll tell you what, it's a handful to drive, guys. I'm struggling here. I probably sort of, I think I built this thing a couple of years ago. And I remember when I first done it, it was quite, I got the hang of it after a while. So I don't know, a bit of practice. Alright guys, so it still works, but it definitely needs a little bit of TLC. Let's get this body off of here. The front steering's definitely soft. The gears are gone in there anyway, you can hear that. Back servo's not too bad actually. Oh. Back servo's not actually too bad. I think that's a metal geared one I put in there anyway at some point, but the front one that definitely definitely needs more there. So I'm gonna change that out. I've got this metal geared one here that's out of a um Corsho Neo, I think. But that'll go in there. 
Uh, rear shocks, uh, I think the shock shafts are bent, they're a bit sticky. The front ones come back up, the rear ones are sort of permanently stuck down. So I'll get that done. Uh, the other thing I really could do with is getting the um, some thicker oil in, this, in that rear diff. Because when I'm trying to donut it, all that's doing is spinning that inside wheel up. There's like nothing there at all, look. There's nothing. So definitely got to get some grease in that centre diff, stiffen that up a little bit, I mean the rear diff. Yeah, it's quite cold actually on 3S, it's not bad. Also guys, look, look, look. I want to put a new body on it. This is the body actually that I was originally, I wanted to put this onto my TRX4. But it didn't quite fit, it was a little bit too small. But I think on here, I think that might sit perfect. You can see where the wheel arches line up. And obviously we're going to have to cut these arches out really big like we do on a proper monster truck. But I think that might look pretty cool. It's the old um, 1972 Chevy C10. Big fan of that body. So, alright guys, I think I'm going to start off with cutting the body shell out. Get it mounted up. Put that servo in and yeah, alright, let's get to it. Alright, let's get this body cracked open. Right, so what I always do when I cut my bodies out, I always rough cut it first just to get the most of this stuff off and then we can set it on there and work out really where the, we're going to pop this. By the way guys, these are curved body scissors. You can see that where those blades are curved a bit. That just makes it a lot easier when you're cutting round bends. I'll put a link to them in the description guys if you're wondering where you get them from. Alright, how's it looking? There's ESC sitting in the way a bit there. I mean, I can't really lower it down because I've got the servo there and it's sitting on top. So what I can do is either cut a little hole out here for the ESC to sit or just mount it a little bit higher. Which, I don't know guys, that probably looks quite a nice height anyway, I think. Even though, I don't know actually. That suspension's probably supposed to sit something like, something like that. And then, yeah, I think the front's sitting pretty good actually. But this back's got to come down a bit. That ESC's definitely in the way there. No, I think I'm going to have to cut this hole, hole out in the body shell there. It was a bit of a shame. I don't really want to. But I can't see what else I can do. I mean, it's got a rear wheel steer. I don't want to put the servo on the axle. Because I think it looks poo. And there's probably not room on there anyway. So the servo's got to stay there. ESC. Could maybe swap the ESC with the, with the receiver. But then that could probably sit down. I can't remember how I mounted it. I think, it was hot, I think I just hot glued it on, look. Just hot glued that ESC straight onto the servo. Guys, if you want to get hot glue off, a brake cleaner. Spray that on there, let it soak in for a little while. That'll really help it come off. Be careful though, before you spray it on your plastics to make sure it's not going to do any damage. Try it on a small bit first. <laughs> Well, I don't want this thing to rub too much because I've had to cut quite a lot out. If you look at the real monster truck, you've got the Titan here, and you can see how much they cut out the arches there. That's the same body, full size monster truck, that one. So I might, I might leave it at that for now, not cut too much off because I don't want it looking stupid. I think I'm going to go with a red colour, that's the same colour as what I had on my X Max. 
few people have asked me before what that colour is. It's an Abzema paint. And the same as a Core RC paint as well, actually. And what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to put some chrome on there. Do the chrome bumper. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this bit, because you've got a sticker to cover this bit up. But if I spray it chrome anyway, then we can see afterwards if it looks better with or without the sticker. But before I paint my bodies, I always rough them up a little bit. This is one of these scotch bright pads. But you just want to make sure that you don't get that anywhere. Where well, you don't put any paint like on your windows, because it's going to look a bit crap otherwise after. And then I use a bit of this brake cleaner just to get rid of any sort of grease or residue or anything on the body. You can use hot soapy water or some sort of a degreaser. But just make sure whatever you use, guys, check it on a like, little off cut bit first to make sure it's not going to melt your plastic. I know this worth stuff what I'm using here. That's never melted anything for me, so that's all good. Video I did when I was painting this um, C10 body for the TRX4. I said, well, I'm, I'm getting all my fingerprints back on it again when I'm putting the stickers in. Well, I don't know, I'll give that a quick wipe on there as well. Uh, probably not good for your skin, but you just put a bit of moisturiser or something on there afterwards. So the only other bit I've got a mask now, I want to paint this bed bit here black, do the rest of the body red. And I've got this core RC masking tape this time, it's specially made for RC cars. And you get this in all different thicknesses actually, you know, if you want to start curving the tape round bits, then this one's probably a bit too wide. But I'm just doing square edges, so I'm going to go with this one here. You guys, it really, it's not worth cheaping out on masking tape. Because if you get the cheap stuff, it just won't stick. And all, all that's going to happen, it's just going to, paint's going to seep underneath. When you pull it off, it's going to leave residue on there. And it's going to ruin your body anyway. <laughs> I've got to put the chrome on there first. Well, I don't know if you're supposed to put it on first, but I'm going to put it on first. I've never sprayed chrome before, so I don't know what it's going to come out like. Not sure how many coats I'm going to give it. I suppose I'll give it a few until it's not see-through, I guess. All right, so we're going to wait for that to dry. Next colour is going to be red. Right, so that's dry enough. So let's do the last little bit here. Spray the black on there. And then paintwork wise, that should be all done. All right guys, body's all dried. So with this, I don't know if it's better to stick the whole thing on. Or just cut the headlights out. I think I'm just going to stick the whole thing on. Alright, so we've got to get this new servo fitted. Extend these cables, get it all mounted up again. And we should be able to give it a little blast. When you're putting your servo horn back on, guys, it's worth powering on your radio. And just make sure you got to get that servo centered. And yep, you can see that's not centered there. So, just pull that off of there. And stick it on where it's roughly straight, which is about there. Guys, never put Loctite on a plastic thread. Only ever put it on metal to metal threads. Awesome. All right, let's get them side plates back on. Extend these cables here and we're good to go.
But look at that, guys. There's like no oil in there at all. No wonder there's like no sort of diff lock action on that. Right, got some of this 500,000. That is pretty damn tight. It's almost like treacle. Well, I quite like tight diffs, so. Put a bit of that in there. Yeah, still not much diff action in there actually. That's really easy to turn. Maybe we've got to stick an air plug in there as well. Alright, let's whip that apart again. Alright, so I've got one of these silicon air plugs. Let's chuck a bit of that in there with it. Got to tighten it up, and it. Can't tell. Yep, yeah, that's definitely that's done the trick. While we got it at this stage, I might as well change these shots. All right, guys, let's give it a try out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> There we have, Stempy's first time with an X-Max. It's gonna get ruined, Kev. Nah, man, I don't you're, ruin it. You're mad to let me have a go at this. Don't let anyone's unit. <laughs> I say it on six sets, you put that on eight, that wakes it up.
<risos> que né, ué? Yeah, I'm out some two wheel action. guys hope you like that video a little bit different this one i mean this thing didn't handle very good outside it's all over the place but for indoors i want to do some little freestyles with it like doing monster jam have a bit of fun and stuff like that so all right guys if you like that video give us a thumbs up more x max videos coming soon subscribe hit the bell button and see you soon <laughs>